guys, it's Jamie again. So this is a week four of Sleeping Palsy Diaries. Um, my week was pretty good. Um, oh, my bet, my best friend. Well, one of my best friends, Taylor, is a genius. And I'm never going to not take her advice ever because I think it's working. Hopefully, I don't know if it will, but she she's um great. Known her for four years, but so anyway, you probably don't want to hear about that because you want to hear about like my life. I don't know. Lots of people. My video views keep going down, and it's making me sad, and I don't know why it's happening. I want to get as many views as possible and go up, not down. Um, anyway, school is, has been crazy because it's winding down. I have an exam Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then another one next Monday. I'm kind of scared. Oh, and... But I'm actually all good in the classes. I lost one sixty eight, but lots of people have bad marks in that class because the teachers I don't know. He's a hard marker. Um oh I went to the mall yesterday, got my last Christmas presents, I swear. I know I said that a long time ago, but I keep seeing different stuff and wanting to buy it for my family, so I do. But I bought my last Christmas presents, just waiting for like another six to come in the mail that I already ordered a long time ago. But I'm waiting for them. They're still not here. That's why Amazon's so much better than eBay because eBay, you might have to. Like, there, it might be free shipping, but it takes a lot longer than Amazon. And Amazon, you pay like a dollar for shipping, so it's not that bad. Um, I had... My friend Colleen came over and sleep over yesterday. Um, that was fun. We watched Silence of the Lambs and Hunger Games 1 because we went to the movies and seen Catching Fire and I was a little bit confused, but she explained it to me. So then when we got home, we caught up on the first one because she bought it when we went to the mall. Anyway, the, my, the rest of my weekend, my friend was supposed to come over and then he didn't show up because he was sick with a fever or something. So... That kind of made me upset. Well, not upset, but I haven't seen him in two years, and I got really excited. But, well, things happen. Um, what else happened? Oh, my Avon. I sold $200 with the stuff. But you don't want to hear about that. You just want to hear about disability stuff, I guess. Um, hmm. Oh, I have a doctor's appointment on the 8th to or the 6th of this month, so in five days, to find out what we can do about my medication and actually make it work so my legs don't keep shaking. Oh, they shake a lot more when it's cold. They don't like the cold. Oh, and... But... I'm back to the normal three pills now, but they don't do anything, so I don't know what to do. But... The doctor will fix it when I see her. Oh, and, um, I went out for lunch by myself today because, anyway, and I was eating and I had muscle spasms and I think it scared the waitress. I felt so bad. And it really hurts when you're eating and really it's actually dangerous because you could choke on your food, but I have no control over when my muscle spasms happen. And I don't know if I explained this in my last video, so I'll explain it again. What a muscle spasm is, is when, um, like, when a normal person, well, not, not a normal person, an able-bodied person, that's not the right word either, because I don't like that. Because just because your legs don't work doesn't mean you're not able to do anything that uh, everybody else can. Um, well, uh, and everybody's normal, just because I have a disability doesn't make me not normal, but, so... A person without a disability, how I can compare it to is, like, when they get a, it's kind of like when you guys get a toe horse, but you guys can get up and walk it off. We can't do that. We can't just get up and walk. So it stays for, like, hours and intensifies the longer it sits there. And 
The only thing you could really do for it is lay down and other medications and stuff. But they're really, really painful. And, um, so if you see me having one, though, don't feel bad or anything. Because there's nothing you can do about it. And I'll just, you know, I'll be fine. Don't worry. Nothing will happen. It's just a buildup of fluid from not being able to move his hand as much as someone without a disability. That's why I'm supposed to drink Gatorade, but after a while you get sick of it. Because electrolytes are supposed to help. Anywho, um. Oh, and when you have a CP, your feet and your legs get really cold because they're not moving around. Everything else is warm and. Stuff like a normal person, oh, not normal, sorry, I keep saying that, but like without someone, like, with a disability would have no trouble heating themselves up, but my, uh, the rest of my body gets cold fast because I can't move around as fast as you guys can, so my feet are always cold like icicles, it kind of sucks. Oh, and also, you, if you were to hit yourself somewhere on the lake with doing a transfer just accidentally whacking it off something, like mine do, because they go sideways when they like do transfers and stuff. It, it it takes a lot less effort to get bruises though because there isn't as much circulation. Like if you were to hit me in the arm, there wouldn't be any like bruise. But if you if I was to get hit in the leg, there would be lots of bruises. Well, not lots, but some amount of bruises, and it would take forever to go away. Because the circulation isn't that really good, like I said. Um, mm -hmm. And no back pain as much as it was last week. That's good. Um, so please forward this to everybody because I want more people to watch my videos. And actually get asked some questions and so I can answer them. Thanks guys.